there's a really nice deep pool in the creek here so I'm going to walk down to the upstream side and just cast an unweighted worm into the current and let the current just wash it into the pool the main thing I have to be careful of here is not being seen I'm squatting down as low as I can and I'm moving nice and slowly there's the pool that I don't want to be seen this will do, there's no need for me to get any closer just a single Janjuk worm totally unweighted no split shot let's just let the current take that to wherever it needs to and I'll check it in about 30 seconds or so just to see whether the fish has picked it up or not something just tapped that then there it goes got him very small but I've got him what have I got? a little rainbow trout by the looks of it well, I had a little rainbow trout he got off he got off well there's a rainbow trout in the pool it got off now he may not have been hooked he may have just had hold of the tail of the worm in which case he wouldn't have felt a sharp hook in his mouth so I'm going to put a fresh worm on I still had half a worm left I've now got one and a half Janjuk worms on there right let's throw that back up there where it was I need to stand up though because my legs getting very stiff I'm not as fit as I'd like to be I don't want to stand up though because then the fish will see me I just had a nibble it's been in about five minutes I've just had a bit of a nibble then just one it was two quick jabs and that was it Oh, there it goes and again something's playing with it or something's pulled it tight there's something has a fish on there and now it's stopped and that's still something playing with it there I reckon there's a fish got that in his mouth got him what have I got a little rainbow is that a little brown that's a massive blackfish look at that it's a freshwater blackfish in broad daylight <laughs> and quite a large one I haven't got my tape measure but I reckon that's got to be nudging 30 centimetres in length he's actually hooked in the mouth too which is a good thing come here mate gee whiz they don't call these things greasies or slipperies for no reason that's a that's quite a large blackfish that's a two spined blackfish I haven't even got my my phones in the car I'll see if I can get a real quick glimpse here that's a decent sized blackfish I'll unhook him and see if I can get some uh, release footage Awesome. It was hooked a bit deeper than I thought. I had to break the line. But let's see if I can get some underwater footage. <laughs> I don't know whether I got that or not. I intended for it to swim that way. As soon as I let it go, it took off behind this rock. <laughs> That's exciting, you ripper, that was unexpected. Now why I put a fresh worm on, I'm just going to put a new hook on it. I thought he was lip hooked but he wasn't that fish, he'll be fine. I put a fresh Janjuk worm on, I've actually come here to film my mail time segment. I've pulled up and I thought, I heard they're sounding water, they're running water. The trout season's still open so I'm allowed to fish here. I thought, I'm going to have to wet a line before I open my mail. So I hooked a rainbow trout and then a blackfish. Now what I'll do in a minute, I'll just leave that out there for a couple of minutes. And if I don't get a bite, well then I'll go and uh, I'll leave the line in. And I'll go and film my monthly mail time up at the car. And then I'll come and check my line. I'm allowed to do that as long as I don't go too far from my, my rod. I think it's 50 metres now. It used to be only 10 or 15 metres, but I think you're allowed to go up to 50 metres now.
Righto folks, it's time to open some mail. Hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Yeah, thanks Robbie, I heard that. Post office box 4040, Wangaratta, Victoria 3677. Hopefully there's not too much wind noise going on here. Let's go. This one first. This is from... I'll hold it up here so that I don't show anybody's addresses. This is from Mason. Right, let's see what Mason has sent me. Now, if there's any background noise or any wind noise, I do apologise, it's quite windy. I am deep down in a gully here. I've got gumboots beside me to try and block the wind noise. <laughs> let's see what Mason has sent. Just make sure there's no addresses on there. All right. Dear Robbie, I love watching your channel. Fishing is one of my favourite things to do, and when I can't go fishing, I watch you. Thank you, Mason. My dream fish is a big Murray Cod or Barramundi, but I haven't caught either, so I will keep on trying. The main fish I catch is redfin. My personal best, redfin, 14, uh, 50, sorry, 49 centimetres. Mason, my biggest is 43 and a half, so you're beating me, mate. Trout, 56 centimetres. Carp, 48 centimetres. Snapper, 31 centimetres. And black brim, 36 centimetres. I have always wanted to go fishing with you, but that is impossible because I live in Penhurst, Victoria, which is down the bottom of Victoria. Every, every year my family goes fishing at the Japarrett Fishing Comp. One year my uncle caught a huge yellow belly and came second place. This one year my uncle caught a 1.8... Sorry, this year one of my uncles caught a 1.8 kilogram yellow belly and came first in adults while my cousin came first in junior comp with a 1.9 kilogram 51 centimetre silver perch. That is enormous! I'll send a photo of my uncle's and first place fish, but we won a trip on the Murray River on a houseboat, and that is where my cousin caught his 61 centimetre Murray cod. You have had so much success, Mason. Oh, there's a little bit more. Thanks for reading my letter. Keep up the good fishing, and I will see you on your next YouTube video. Right. Let's have a look what we've got here. That is a huge redfin by the looks of it. Look at the size of that redfin. Wow. And that there must be the 51 centimetre silver perch by the looks down the bottom here. I hope that's not too dark. Mason, that is awesome. Thank you for sharing your adventure with me. And congratulations for the uh, for the prizes that your, your family has won in the junior. Your uncle and your, was it your cousin won in the fishing competition. That is outstanding work. Thank you so much, Mason, for the awesome mail. Now we have one from Hadley. I've got to face these this way while I'm filming in case there's a, an address on the back, but there's not on this one. There was on the other one. Righto, Hadley. Right. Let's have a look. G'day, mate. My name is Hadley, and I, live, I love to fish in the Murray for Big Cod. You and RKJ Fishing got me into fishing. I'm still yet to catch that one metre plus cod. So am I, mate, so don't stress. My biggest is 98 centimetres, so you're not the only one that's never caught a metre cod. I've drawn a picture of a Murray cod going for cheese while a big crop comes along for some lunch. What I'm trying to say is keep up the great videos. Now joke time. What type of music should you listen to when fishing? Something catchy. <laughs> P.S. I know crocs don't live in the Murray. Just thought it would be good to add. <laughs> I'll check it out. There was a Murray, a dead Murray crocodile showed up at the Barma Forest in the Murray a few years ago. I suspect somebody brought it down from up north and put it there, but it certainly got everybody talking. Oh wow, look at the look at the look at that. You are a very talented pitcher. Uh, it's a very talented drawer, sorry. You can see the cheese on the hook here. You can see the cod's about to get it and in the background, these are teeth. Here's a big bloody crocodile coming to eat the cod. Croc hungry for cod. That is really, really cool. Thank you so much, Hadley. Right, now, Mr. Robbie Hayu Alexander from Z Allen. This is from Zeppelin. Zeppelin is a legend. I spoke to Zeppelin on the phone the other day. Zeppelin has been having so much fishing success in brim competitions and stuff over in there near now now. He's a young legend. He's been on in my on my channel before in a couple of videos. Fishing with Holly. Right, here we go. To Sir Robbie. <laughs> hey cowboy, how are you? I hope you are well. I'm writing to you today because I've been sick all week with COVID, but I'm feeling better now. Would give any 
would give anything to be able to go fishing right now. I bet you didn't know yesterday was one year since you came to now and now fishing with me. I really want to say thank you for my week in Wangaratta. It really is a pretty cool place and I will never ever forget my day fishing with you and Holly, I really, I really, really hope she will come over here with you one day. It's so nice, so I can take her fishing. Mate, I'm just going to pause there for a second. Holly had an absolute blast that day, Zep, and so did I. We all had so much fun fishing with you. But that was one of the most memorable redfin days I've had this season. It was an absolute ripper. And I'm sure Holly will come over to now now with me one day. I also want to thank Loretta for being so nice and coming fishing and for my awesome book. I love it and have started getting into taking photos of flowers around my house. I'm also lucky because I get... I got a one well lunch mini in my last tackle club and can't wait to get some monster brim on it soon. Okay, I'm going to re-watch some Robbie fishing now and thank you to you and your family for playing with my family. I will never forget it, mate. Love always, Zepp. Zeppelin, this is why everyone loves you, Zepp. You're a bigger fan on my channel than I am. You have created a cult following for yourself because you're an absolute gem. And uh, it was Loretta's pleasure to give you that book. For those that don't know, Loretta, my wife, has an amazing Facebook page called Loretta's Funky Photos. If you're on Facebook, check it out. Loretta's Funky Photos, and I think she spells photos with an F, just to be fun. And uh, she had made a book a while back and released a photo book and gave one to Zeppelin, and he loves it. And Zepp, here we go, we've got a big flathead. I have not caught a flathead. I caught one with Scotty Turnbull down in Corio Bay there a couple of years ago, but it was only small. I've got a couple of small ones. I need you to take me out to catch some big flat at it now now, Zip. Thank you so much, you young fellas. You are awesome. I love the these are my favourite mail time, the handwritten mail. I just love hand-drawn pictures. I love this type of mail. Thank you all so much for sending me these awesome pictures and awesome stories. I better go and check these worms and see if I've had any more bites on my line. How awesome are those kids sending me those that uh, that mail? I reckon this has had a bite. I don't know. I just reckon it looks like it's moved a little bit. Or not. <laughs> Hasn't had a touch. Look at that. I came down here in the first sort of couple of minutes. I hooked a trout and lost it. Then I caught that beautiful blackfish. Then I left it unattended for 10 minutes while I went and opened my mail. Then I came down and caught nothing. <laughs> Folks, this has been a mail time with a difference. It's included a, uh, a surprise bycatch of a blackfish and a trout. Thank you to you awesome kids for the awesome mail and thank you all very, very much for watching.